Baldwin County High School Football Media Day at Bryant Bank in Daphne yesterday. Our Fox News Sports anchor Emily Cochran is live in the studio now with us, and she was in Daphne to catch up with all the coaches and players there. Emily. Yeah, that's right, Shelby. It's August 1st, which means we are just 24 days out from our first games of the season, and these Baldwin County teams are ready to go. Showing off the new helmets, Gulf Shores head coach Mark Hudspeth was joined by two versatile seniors, NC State commit Ronnie Royal and Braden Jackson. The Dolphins coming off an 11-2 season and made their deepest playoff run in program history in 2022. Gulf Shores is a veteran heavy team, starting eight seniors on defense and returning 60% of offensive production. But Hudspeth says the focus has been on the culture they've solidified within their program. Coming back into season three with our program, we feel like the culture is strong. And for us, it's, it's more about the culture than it is the scheme. And, uh, for, and I think we're, we're doing a lot of good things in that department. 5A Alberta, led by fifth-year head coach Nathan McDaniel, just had $8 million put into their facilities, which is quite the upgrade from when he came in year one. In a region that's packed with strong teams and Hall of Fame coaches, McDaniel says he feels like the gap between his team and others is closing. You're right there, closing the gap. Um, and I know everything is judged in wins and losses, but, but you have to look at the big picture and say, okay, the gap is closing and these guys are physically getting to the point to where they can't compete at a high level. In 6A, we have Spanish Fort, led by head coach Chase Smith. The Toros went 7-11 and in 2022. They're returning only four starters on both sides of the ball. They are also adding senior linebacker and Alabama commit Sterling Dixon from Mobile Christian. The former Leopard announcing on social media that he'll be spending his senior year with the Toros. Spanish Fort has won four state titles since 2008. And this year's players want to add another blue map to that trophy case. I wanted to be a Toro because I, I wanted to be a winner. And I'm just grateful that I get that opportunity now to be a part of something. <clears throat> we also had veteran head coach Jamie DuBose and his Orange Beach Makos. The Bayside Admirals led by first-year head coach and former Auburn quarterback Barrett Trotter. The Baldwin County Tigers led by head coach Scott Riles. Head coach Kyle Sanford and the Robertsdale Bears. And the Bayshore Christian Eagles led by head coach Phil Lazenby. All there to preview the 2023 season. We are only less than a month out from kickoff. Tomorrow and Thursday, we will have Mobile County High School Football Media Days. I'll have all your team's coverage from this side of the bay. Live in studio, I'm Emily Cochran, Fox 10 Sports.